What is up, guys? Have you recently wanted to check out Windows 11 only to be met by an error message like this? Well, I might have a solution for you. If you hang out, I'll show it to you right after this. Hey guys, this is Nelson. If you're new to my channel, I do photography and tech-based tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you're new to this channel, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys. Well, I was met with this error message here, so I went ahead and downloaded and installed the PC Health Check Tool by Microsoft, and I clicked this Check Now to see if my PC meets the system requirements, and I was met with this TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this PC. Now, if you guys have a motherboard that was manufactured within the last five years, more than likely it has TPM 2.0, but it is disabled by default. Now, this tutorial is assuming that this is the only roadblock that you have hit in your Windows 11 journey and uh, you don't have any other system components that need to be uh, upgraded or enabled. So assuming that and this is your only problem, this is my solution. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is head off into the BIOS and to do that we are going to shut down our PC. All right, so different motherboard manufacturers have different ways of entering the BIOS. I have an ASUS motherboard, which is uh, the delete key. So I'm going to go ahead and start punching that now. Yours could be another key like F2, F1. And I just continually hit mine until it enters the BIOS. All right, there we go. So I'm running an AMD processor here, so this may be a little bit different on your ASUS motherboard. And I think you're going to get the general idea if you have another manufacturer, but it might be in a different area. But anyways, go ahead and click on Advanced Mode. We're going to click Advanced again. And right up here on the top, AMD FTPM Configuration, go ahead and click that. And TPM Device Selection, it is defaulted as being discrete TPM, so click that. We're going to click Firmware TPM. This little notice will pop up. And go ahead and click OK if you're all right with this. And all we're going to do now is just exit and save. Save Changes and Reset. Save Configuration and Reset. OK. And now we're going to boot back into Windows. Okay, now we have booted back into Windows. I'm going to go ahead and run this PC Health Check tool again. And hit Check Now. Bam! This PC meets Windows 11 requirements. So, assuming that this was the only roadblock that you were met with in uh, installing Windows 11, you should now be good to go. If you guys found this at all useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, and I hope you all have a great one. Take care.